the Washington Wizards and the Washington Capitals are moving from D.C. to Alexandria, Virginia. Let's do a deep dive, focusing on the Bullets movements from Baltimore all the way to Northern Virginia. Find out in this episode of Thomas. Hi guys out there, Thomas here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, what I want to talk about today is something that's happened last week. I know I'm late on the draw, but I need to get all my facts straight. But last week, about Tuesday or Wednesday, something that's happened, it don't usually really happen at all, but it snuck by me. And I was like, really? But what happened is the Washington Wizards and the Washington Capitals are going to be moving from their home at the Capital One Arena to Northern Virginia. The site that they're going to be moving to Northern Virginia um, was historically, it's like south of National Airport, and it's, it's some type of uh, rail yard down there. And the rail yard at one time was proposed for the uh, Washington Redskins new stadium. I want to use the names, so don't kill me. Washington Redskins back in the late 90s, before um, they were trying to do something with uh, RFK Stadium. And it never came to fruition. And um, Jack Kent Cook and um, the mayor, um, Sheila Pat Kelly, uh, whatever her name was, they were they weren't they were button heads, um, and they couldn't get this deal. So, um, long story short, they just decided to I'm going. So, the owner of the Skins said I'm going to move to Landover, and that's exactly what he did. He moved to Landover. Uh, we're going to come back to Landover because that's where we're going to talk about it. again. This story is a retrospective of the movements of the Washington. Uh, Wizards, but they were affectionately called as the Baltimore Bullets, or the Boule, as Tony Kornheiser would say. The, the Boule started in Baltimore City because it, it wasn't at the time we were talking about the city. So a lot of these people weren't talking about shooting guns and stuff like that. Although Baltimore has a, has a homicide problem. A lot, of, a lot of urban cities have the same problem. But at the time, we're talking about the 60s, where everybody was a little bit more chill. Um, so they were supposed to be quick as a bullet, as opposed to bang, 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 bang. Don't get dead. That's what we, that's, so we're not going to talk about all of that, but just the name of the team. So, so we're going to first start, well, let's start right here. Uh, we're going to start right at Capital One Arena. This is where they currently play at now. For the next two, three years until they the new the new uh, stadium comes online. So um, you know what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to be where we're at now for right now. But I'm going to go back back in time. We're going to go back into the rack. Yes, we are. So um, what we're going to do now? We're going to talk about the OG. Okay, this is the Baltimore Civic Center. This is. Uh, pictures from 1969. I think the stadium came online about 1961, 62, something along that line. <clears throat> At the time, Baltimore had a population of upwards to seven hundred thousand dollars, seven hundred thousand dollars, seven hundred and fifty thousand population. Now the population of Baltimore is between uh, four hundred to four. 50. It's lost about about a third of its population uh, for random reasons and things like that. But Baltimore was a much um, up and coming um, city at the time. It, it had a lot more population than uh, than Washington D.C. metropolitan area because uh, we were talking about the '60s and a lot of, it was a much more industrialized area as well. So what was going on is that they decided that they wanted to. A Poland, uh, he he was a um, big energy guy, and um, he wanted to own a, a, a base um, a basketball team, so he got the blessings of the NBA, and he 
came up with uh, the team, the Baltimore Bullets. <clears throat> and the, the, and the, the city the citizens of Baltimore had come up with uh, a, a place for them to, to play. This is a 13,000-seat stadium. Um, but the thing was is that when it came online, it was already obsolete. Believe me, it was all, it was the the this one building really pisses me off because I don't what at the time um, in Baltimore City they had a limited um, area for like concerts and things like that. So somebody up in the city council who thought that she knew everything decided to well since there's no stage let's just use one half of the stadium of the civic center and turn it into a stage well if you take that area and you just take out the, the seats there you're gonna you're gonna lose out on five thousand seats so so instead of having a, a 15 16 seventeen thousand seat stadium at the time which would have been definitely state of the art they cut it by a third to thirteen thousand some odd seats, and it's 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 kind of weird. I'm not sure if you've ever been there or not, but you got three rows of seats, three columns of seats, and then you got the stage, and it just sits there, like a like a bump on a log. <clears throat> I don't know what was this lady's concept and who let this slide, but they the but when the building was built, it was built like that. So. Sorry, my phone's going off. So, uh, I don't know why she decided to put her nose in this business, but that's what happened. So, um, when the stadium opened, it opened to about 12, 13,000 seats. Uh, and the Bullets were playing there. There was also talk of getting a professional hockey team there. Also, the eight Poland wanted it. Uh, and that never happened because by the time... When the stadium, I mean, the Civic Center was finished and all this sort of stuff, they couldn't get it because they needed those extra 5,000 seats so that they could put a, a NHL hockey team there. That hockey team eventually went to Washington, but when the, but when the Bullets or the, when the Bullets transitioned, they went to another uh, arena and, um, that's where we got the Capital Center. Okay. The Capital Center uh, came online in 1973, I believe. And it was in, uh, it's called Landover, Maryland. Uh, it's a bedroom community of the Washington, D.C. area. It was um, outside of the D.C. area. It was located in the, quote, suburbs. And also, it was about 30, 35 miles south of Baltimore. So, um, it was definitely a ways for the people who were Baltimore City citizens to go to there because there was no way you can get there without having a car. There was, at the time, there was no commuter rail. There was no buses that would directly go there. You just had to, had to get a car and, and get there. Um, and for um, the, the old outline of it, you have to have a car or transportation to get there. There was no metro station there at the time. And the Capital Center, I've been there twice. And um, if you see on the sides right here, this was a crazy looking building because it, it's like, kind of like a, it was like a hat <laughs> or a burrito. And I, I, I was, I went there twice to see the Washington Capitals play in the '80s, and it was, I mean, it was a unique place. I think the stadium sit about twenty, twenty-one thousand, I believe. Uh, and I mean, it was a nice stadium, believe me. And I, it was much more nice than the Baltimore Civic Center. I tell you that. Plus, um, the Cap Center was the seat of everything. Um, when they had inaugural balls there, they would people would come there dressed up in their tuxes, and they were able to um, have all kinds of events. Parliament Funkadelic played there. Kiss played there. Um, and I always wanted to go to this to this um, stadium to see, at least see Parliament, because Parliament had Parliament Funkadelic, I'm sorry. 
they would have the spaceship and everybody wants to the spaceship come down but I never got an opportunity to because at the time I didn't have a vehicular transportation uh, I was able to rent uh, somebody's car um, in order to go to the events down at the at the Capitol Center but uh, it was kind of a, a hump for me but uh, but it was still they so the Capitol Center stayed online from 1973 to approximately 1997 I believe six to seven because at the time this area um, the Washington bullets uh, and the Capitals decided that they wanted to um, do uh, go into DC so they moved from Baltimore to Landover they, they were called the Capitol bullets um, and then they moved to um, Gallery Place downtown to this new arena, which is the Capital One Center. At the t at one time, it was called the MCI Center. I'm not sure if you or you guys are familiar with MCI, but MCI was a, a kind of like an AT and T long distance provider. And uh, I've been there. I've been to MCI Center about uh, slash. Uh, Capital One Center about a couple times. It's really nice. I mean, it's state of the art. I mean, it's it's nice. It's still a nice stadium. Believe me, I've been there. I saw um I saw the the Wizards play. I'm sorry, I saw uh, not the Wizards, but I saw the, the Mystics play, and I did see a, a concert there with Elton John. But it was nice. Plus, it's right on the Metro. It's easy come, easy go. And for people from Baltimore. I can catch the the commuter rail and get to DC and then catch the metro, and then I'll be right there at um, um, at the arena to watch the game. So it was easy for me to get from, to from Baltimore to Washington to actually see the games. Uh, so uh, so it made it so it made it much more easier for me to get to the location. So and this is a surprise to me because. Um, I don't know why they, well, I knew why, but we'll talk about that later on, but, um, and, I mean, this was a nice arena, too. I was like, this is, this is smoking, but what ultimately happened was, um, the decision came down that they wanted to move from Washington, D.C. to this new area, um, uh, in Alexandria, Virginia, and the reason why they said, well, they wanted um, better facilities, which I can see that, but also they wanted to make sure that all the fans can get there safely in and out. I'm not sure if you guys know them, but the D.C. is falling out. Um, you got carjackings, you got people getting shot in D.C., you got, I mean, you just can't have people come in there and be subject to murder, <laughs> I mean, in Baltimore City, they're knocking people in the heads and stuff like that. So I understand why they did that. In Chicago, Chicago, um, the the um, the Bears are going to be moving to another location because they're fearful of their fans getting murdered and stuff like that in, in Chicago because Chicago is such a violent city. So I I definitely understand. You know, they're just going to try and, and and say, well, we we did this because we. Wanted to, you know, make sure we had the best in line, yada, yada, yada. But the truth, the truth be told, they just don't want to see the people get killed up because don't get dead. Don't get dead. So, um, so I wanted to, you know, just to give you my um, aspects about this whole thing. I mean, I'm, I'm glad for the teams. I'm glad for them. And I'm also glad for everybody. I mean, the people in D.C., I mean, they... They're gonna be mad because they're gonna lose out on their tax, on their tax basis. But you know, y'all decided to have a to have your city act this way, and so this is so you you helped Virginia get this team. So enjoy. <coughs> They'll probably be there for like another twenty years. So so you reap what you sow. Anyway. So thank you very much. You guys have a great day and uh, um, don't get dead. All right. Peace out.